Hello all, welcome to People's TV. In this video, we will know about how to add and edit V-Ray lights in SketchUp. Now, let's start adding rectangular light. Go to rectangular light tool in V-Ray for SketchUp light toolbar. Left click on the ground plane and start making rectangle by left clicking and dragging the mouse to the other end and left click again to complete the rectangular light. Now select the rectangular light and move it on blue axis to get the light from the top. Let's say we move the light to 10 feet on blue axis. Now let's do a test render and see the difference between the render with light and render without light. To get a more better result, let's edit the light settings. For that, First select the rectangular light, then right click and go to V-Ray for SketchUp and select edit light option. When you do that, a V-Ray light editor will pop up. V-Ray light editor helps you to control different qualities and intensities of rectangular light. We will one by one check them and see their effect in our renderings to get a better result. Let's start with adding colors. For that, click on the white box in front of color under Intensities. A V-Ray light editor window will come up where you can select different colors to add to your light. Let's give a yellow tint to our light and do a test render. As you can see, there is a hint of yellowness in our render output. Here is the image of the previous render with white light. You can see the difference clearly. In the same way, I added an orange tint to the light and you can see the effect by yourself. I have set the light settings to default again. Now let's change the intensity of light from 30 to 60 and see the effect. As you can see, the model is more brighter than the previous default render having the light intensity of 30. Now let's add texture to the light. Check the use texture box in V-Ray light editor window. Click the M box in front of light texture option. A V-Ray texture editor window will pop up. Select the wooden texture option from the scroll down list. For now, keep other settings as default and click OK. In V-Ray Light Editor, change the intensity from 30 to 60 again. Let's go for a test render. Now you can see there is brown wooden effect coming in the render instead of increasing the intensity of light. The light in the render is optimized due to the wooden texture effect. Now let's understand what happens to the shadows in the model when we increase or decrease the light size. Larger rectangular lights spread out to a larger area, so the shadow is not as clear as you get from the smaller rectangular light. Let's do a test render with both larger and smaller light and see the difference. But before that, let's change the default shadow bias value of 0.01 to 0 in both the lights. Now we are ready for render. First render we will do with large rectangular light with the intensity of 30. You can see yourself the shadows in the render are not clear. Now let's start again render with the smaller light. Here you can see the shadows and the depth in the model are better than the previous render. Now let's understand the effect of the visible and invisible lights on the renderings. Go to the V-Ray Light Editor and uncheck the Invisible Box option if it's checked and start the test render. In the render you can see the rectangular light source is visible and we can see the light source in reflective materials. 
but when we render our scene with invisible light box checked then the rectangular light source will not be visible on the reflective materials and we will only get the light from the source in the scene let's do a test render and see it is clear from both the test renders the effect of visible and invisible lights on reflective materials now let's understand the double sided lights in vray you can tell the direction of the light from the sketchup face orientation of the rectangular light reverse the light and you can change the direction of the light now we will do test renders to see the effects of the orientation of lights keeping the light intensity of 50 and using one sided light and keeping orientation away from the model we will get render like this now let's do a test render by changing the orientation of light with same light settings as previous render the result render will be like this now let's use the double sided light for that go to vray light editor check the double sided box option and click okay now let's start the render the double sided option can turn the light direction from one side to the both sides of the light source just like to create two lights with the opposite direction move the light away from the wall or floor to avoid any blackout areas now we can see in the render everything is flushed out with light as the intensity of the light was doubled due to double sided light now let's decrease the intensity to 25 let's do another test render you can see light is emitting from both sides of the rectangular light source double sided option usually used when rendering a big interior scene it helps to light up the space without using too many lights normally we don't use it when rendering a product scene now let's understand about light units intensity light unit allows to select different physical unit of the light using the correct intensity unit will help you to get correct result when you are using the physical camera that is all about vray lights i hope this video was helpful join me on facebook or other social platforms to get connected and talk on it if any doubt or questions write them down in the comment section and also don't forget to like subscribe and share my videos to your friends thanks